everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm here to share with you my finally completed album of Ciao Bella Blooming. So um, I want to share with you the flowers that I used. In fact, I think I have the packaging sitting right here. Yeah. So these are both Prima marketing flowers. Um, I used all the pink and two whites from this pack, which, by the way, will be in the description. And then I used another pack, and this pack was of the larger flowers, these large white flowers. So I used two packs of flowers, um, all of the large flowers, and then the pink flowers and white flowers wound up being um, two-thirds of this pack. So I'll put those in the description with links. Um, this is Fussy Cut and Popped Up. Uh, this is fussy cut from one of the from one of the cut aparts. I have just a little paper clip holding it here, and I did pop it a little bit. And this is fussy cut and popped as well. And so that's the cover. These shiny silver things are flat back pearls from Graphic Forty Five. This is just an old key that I had in stash. Um, I went to kind of like a garage sale kind of thing and there was just a bunch of old keys and I bought a whole bunch of them and that's one of them there um, I tried looking at some of the graphic keys they just weren't the right scale here is the side and oh I want to point out that I used a silver mat on the front the back the front the spine and the back I thought it just made it pop against the white Thought it was really nice pretty happy with it on the inside and I didn't film this as part of uh, creating the cover but these are eight by eight panels and I used them on the front and the back it, so it's from the eight by eight pack so page one I've got this insert which I think is really pretty captured that butterfly another insert and a third insert. So lots of photo space there, plus this opens up. You've got photo space on the left and right. This is fussy cut, and this is fussy cut and popped, and this is laying flat. These untie and open like so. So there's quite a bit of photo space here as well. These both open the same way. So I don't use ribbon very often, but I did here, and I really like the way it worked with these two uh, small trifold cards. And I actually used ribbon one more time in this album, and you'll see that pretty soon. There we go. And then, of course, these inserts are what keep this closed. Each one of these is an 8 by 8 pocket page. So there's a 7 and 3 quarter by 7 and 3 quarter insert. So lots of room. And we did that four times. Actually, I'm going to leave all my inserts out so we can look at those at the end. Okay, on page two, I've got a little hinge here. And that opens up. So you have this nice card. Page three, a nice large insert. Another large photo mat. And I did just a one inch on each side to unify the book. Usually it stands out a little bit, but it's not sticking out a little here. There we go. I like that. So you have these two four by six photo mounts here, all this photo space and more up here. These are just two photo mats. So they don't open, uh, but they do, you can tuck behind them. Another large insert. This is a cut apart from the 8x8 collection pack. Okay, here's page five. So there's a magnet holding all this together. And then this is a twist pop. 
Double checking to make sure I'm still in frame. Okay, here's that second bow. So this is kind of like a flip, they're all flaps, but they flip flop. They go left and right, left and right. So tons of photo space here. Then it opens up again, more photo space, and again. So a whole lot of photo space just on page six. Nice insert. And then here is page eight. We've got a tuck spot here. These floor, these flowers, that shows up a little bit better, are all just fussy cut. And then this opens, and then we have another tuck spot here. So a little pocket and a tuck spot. And again, this is an eight by from the eight by eight collection pack. This project took a twelve by twelve collection, twelve by twelve background, and two eight by eight collection packs. And before I go, show you all our inserts. So we have a fair amount of inserts, and I'll slide that over. And then this is what's left from the eight by eight. So we have a couple sheets left, three, that's 12 by 12. Four, five, six pages left from the uh, eight by eight collection, which means you can completely cover these, but it's been so long since I released a video, I thought I should get it out. Now, as far as the 12 by 12s go, I have this left and I have these two left. And that's it. Um, everything else is smaller than four inches wide. So you can use them for tags and things like that, or even for cards, but it's not big enough really to use in this album. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I gave you guys a sneak peek on Facebook a little while ago. I will post this shortly as well as post the materialist and the cut list. I'll see you guys soon.